as a prophet, he could be ignorant and I can understand that. As a prophet, he can be ignorant. The prophet doesn't know everything. But if you believe he's God, he shouldn't be ignorant of that. I'm not attacking you as a person. I'm saying you have a lack of knowledge of the Old Testament narrative concerning the symbolic use of the fig tree, the vineyard, etc., etc. When the disciples saw, they marveled. They're saying, how did the fig tree wither at once? They didn't Meaning, say, how did Jesus not know? No, no, no. Throughout the the Old Testament and the New Testament narrative, fruitlessness ends in judgment. So when Jesus saw the fruitlessness of the tree, he judged it and cursed it. What it was, not a parable. It's not a parable. It is. It's not a parable. It's an Jesus, explanation Jesus of the Jesus went to the fig tree, yep. hoping there were figs, and there was no, no Jesus fig. didn't hope there were figs because he knew whether Mark there were figs. Mark saying because no. it was not the season of it. It's not a exactly. parable. Exactly. Well, it's an ex explanation. Okay. I don't know how to uh, let me let me read it. Right you know what happened afterwards? Analogy. You know, but no, no, it's not. It's, 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 it's literally that's what happened. He cursed the tree, and next day, Peter reminded him, you see that tree? The one you cursed today is just completely gone. That's what it happened. It literally happened. It was not a parable. If no, it was that, a parable, no, why would not. Peter be saying that? Come Sorry, on, you want me to, to read just, it all? To say the fig tree was still there doesn't negate that it's a, it's a parable. It was, in fact, a parable. If you, did you, have you, do you Are you familiar with Jeremiah at all? Are you familiar with yeah, Jeremiah? Yeah. Okay. Well, Jeremiah is a Jeremiah, prophet, yeah. Yeah. Well, within the book of Jeremiah, I mean, in the Old Testament, when you look at uh, figs, fig trees, and vineyards, it's always referred to the spiritual state where it's healthy or sick to Israel. So in Jeremiah, it says about Israel that they're like rotten, rotten figs or rotten, rotten vineyards. So the fig tree is, is associated with the health, the spiritual health of Israel. For example, they're rebelling against God. They're like, they're like a rotten, like a rotten bunch of figs. Paul uses the same example in Romans that, um, about grafting. In this case, they're grafting and regrafting uh, as a tree. So the fig tree is often used as a symbolic uh, sign. Or for Israel. So when Jesus was cursing the fig tree there, that's always been taught throughout all of Christian history that that is a parable. Jesus is using that as an example to show, look, as, as the Israelites are, they look healthy from a distance, they look fine, they're very spiritual, but when, upon further inspection, they, they're fruitless. That's why Christ cursed the tree. And, and, and it's like a... I know you're saying a parable, let me read the whole context well, it, it, it would and let's see if it's a parable it, or not. No, one second. It would only make sense if you actually understood the Old Testament, which I'm sorry, I feel like you don't. <laughs> okay, if let, you, let you, me, the other people, judge of it. I know you're saying a parable, I'm saying it's not a parable. Point, if I let's see if anybody up, hearing it, only, if it's a parable sorry, or not, the whole context. Hey, give me one second. I only brought up the fig tree in relation to Mohammed not being able to decide who was lying in terms of a man whose wife said that he had beaten her and he denied it. So my point is that a different verse, when he says, I saw you beneath the thick fig tree, he did not literally see him there. He was Can you bring that verse? Can you bring that verse? Okay, let me, no, let me read this verse and the whole context. And the context is clear that literally and happened and it's not a parable. A parable is meaning example is it's not nothing to do with reality it's just no, an, that's not what a par parables can parable. have parable you i could i could, Literal, I could teach a parable now and use this tree as an example it's still a parable it doesn't mean you have to tell some mythical story no, that never par happens what are you saying that's misunderstanding you're saying it, you're saying in this case it's a figure a speech or a figure figurative speech and it's not literal that's what you're saying yeah you and i'm saying verse? it's literal let's read this one first and then you can then, your that's what i'm saying they're two okay. separate yeah okay here this oh that's a different okay yes jesus says and seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, by the way, it's Mark 11, verse 13. He went to see if he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. And he said to it, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. And they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold and those who brought. It's a, it's a long thing, but I want to get to the point where, where Peter, Peter says to him that, look, the tree has died. Do you, do you know that Peter says that to him, yep. the tree has died? It's in Matthew. Yeah, but Jesus uh, yeah. knew so these the point here is, is this is... is Nobody this, can this tell him Brother, are you listening here? Ben Brother, are you listening here? Here he's saying, same after that, he says, and then they came to Jerusalem after Jesus cursed the tree. They came to Jerusalem. This is a continuous things, uh, thing happening. 
it's nothing to do with his telling some sort of a parable. It, that's what he's actually he did. Let, 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 let me let me just correct And then you. Peter, remember Peter says you crossed the tree yesterday. Yes, he did. And yeah. No, so you're, so you're, this, this, parable, is the misunderstanding. Uh, this is the misunderstanding you're having. You've seen the thing because it is literally a real tree. It cannot be a parable. That's not true. A parable. I could use this tree as. as no, a, you, you keep let, saying that. But in finish. this, what allow, did you use? Allow me to finish. I could use this tree as a, as a real life tree and use it for a parable. That's perfectly he came fine. To it. Allow me to speak. I know he came to it. I totally you, you agree. You're not understanding what no, I'm saying. I'm understanding no, everything. No, you, 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 I agree you, that he got one second. I agree he came to the tree. I agree he cursed it. No it issue. But it was in fact a parable. It physically happened. They use it as. That's what I'm saying. It's physically happened. Yes. Then we have no argument. No, no, no. The argument. Argument. No, no. Argument. The misunderstanding. No, no, no. Argument. Her. She. She was making. How. Muhammad didn't know Nothing who was telling the truth as a prophet, he should know better. I use the same uh, her argument. If Jesus yeah. couldn't tell yeah. if it was not the season, he came to the fig tree. He came to the fig tree. I mean, let me make my point. He came to the fig tree for what reason? To have a fruit. And but he realized there's no fruit, meaning he didn't have a knowledge no. that tree no, doesn't have a fruit. Only, it only works. It's a false, it's a false comparison. Muhammad didn't know something because he was ignorant. Jesus knew something, but he used it as an example to, to point to the fruitlessness. I mean, throughout the Old Testament, and again, if you don't know that, you didn't say that. Why did you say that? Why did you say he knew that? If you stop he talking and let me speak, you'll hear me. If, he if he you understood the Old Testament context of the fig tree and stop, the vineyard, stop hiding the behind the Old, old Testament. I'm no, no, just giving you the words of ignorance. Do you know why you're doing this? It's because you know when I bring the Old Testament, bring it, bring it on. Then don't tell me not to bring it. The reason why you won't let me bring it up is because you know it's going to correct the point you're trying to make. So stop speaking for two seconds. Why? What you're doing is you just miss, 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 not misrepresenting this, this, this. Uh, one, one, one this second. verse is clearly saying you must understand he's, so, he right. came so to it speaking, for what? You're speaking because you're insecure about your argument. Let me speak and then you can answer after that, okay? But I'm going right, to okay. Throughout the Old Testament, Israel was described... This personal as, attack doesn't work no, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're personally trying to uh, demean my no, argument. I'm trying to respond to you, but you're not allowing me to can respond. Can you address this verse? He came I'm to the victory for what? I'm trying to. Now let me speak. Let me speak. When you understand, and bear in mind, Jesus was speaking to his Jewish context. They, they, knew, going, the Old they knew the Old Testament. They knew a lot more of the Old Testament than all due respect you do. So when Jesus uses the fig tree, he's using it as an example to show them, look, this is what Israel is. I mean, it was a symbolic, uh, it was a symbol of Israel, the fig tree. They knew that this represented Israel. And that throughout the Old Testament, Israel is uh, described as God's vineyard. So when the vineyard's bad, it's rotten. It, it's Let me read the words and I'll second. give you a commentary. It, it, I, I want you to read the words and not, not your explanation. You, so you don't know. This, this is your problem. You've come no, with because this you're argument. running away from this. Now there's an answer fair. to it. You're not wanting to hear it. So just stop Can you read the seconds. words and we, we see what you're saying? Because I don't want your commentary. So While you're listen, finding it, I'm, I'm going, going to read this I, verse. Listen, I'm going to speak anyway, whether you interrupt me or not, because you don't want to hear the answer. It just shows you're being disingenuous. No, no, no. I don't want your commentary. No, well, then why? Because you can make whatever you want. You're giving your exegesis. You want me to give an answer. When I give the answer, you don't want to hear it. No. I, I don't want your commentary. I said read the verse. Listen, I, I can read the verse. That, just read the verse and then we decide verse, read if your verse, commentary is right or not. Reading the verse doesn't give the answer. Oh, okay, so you already decided it's not going to give the answer. The, reading, you said reading, you're going to go to jail. Reading, reading, the, verse, reading the verse. The verse is clear. The, he me, come, he come to the tree are you interested for or not? to finding something on it. Remember, he come to the tree but to finding something. Finding what? Stop talking for two seconds, please, sir. I've allowed you to speak. Let me speak. Two seconds over now. Two okay. minutes. Are <laughs> you, you a child or a man-child? Okay, okay, I don't know. You're talking to me. You're attacking me. I'm not. I'm just interrupting. Now look. Okay. Within the Old Testament. Christians do they talk a lot just to take you I, around? I think the you're only one who's talking a lot, sir, is you. So welcome to Christ. So as I was saying, the fig tree, the vineyard, is often used to describe God's people, Israel. Often. Not always. Often. Not in this world. You're not really genuine, sir. Not in this world. Anyway, as I was saying. So when God, when God uses in Old Testament, for example, Jeremiah, when he says that Israel is like a rotten vineyard, yeah. that's a judgment upon Israel because fruitlessness throughout the, the Old Testament and the New Testament narrative, fruitlessness ends in judgment. So when Jesus saw the fruitlessness of the tree, he judged it and cursed it. And it's an it's a, it's a illustration, it's a symbolic um, cursing, uh, condemnation of Israel. Israel looks like this fig tree looks from a distance and it looked fruit like it had fruit, it looked like it was bearing fruit, it was healthy, it was in a good state. But upon further inspection, just like Israel, there was fruitless, therefore there was judged. 
Done. That that is always no, been that has always, been the, that has always been the Christian no. answer. Now, you didn't want me to go to the Old Testament because you just wanted to I say. Was, look, I was I was asking look, you to read look, the look, verse. Look, 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 okay, what do you mean I don't want you? Let's have the same standard. Yeah. If if I turned around and brought a verse, I've got a verse. If I brought up the Quran and said to you in Surah Four where it says you can beat your wife, you're then going to say no, 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 because you're then going to say you're going to say then you're going to say well hold on let me explain it with these other bits and give you the context and I'm going to say absolutely fine you can do that yeah at least you accept that then if you did that I'll listen to you because that's the way you have to explain but it. But you didn't read Jeremiah at all. Right. Well, you I'll give, give you a commentary. Yes, absolutely. This you is give John. Commentary, but you yeah. John the 1, I sound like an Israelite. John 1, 43 to 51, but I'm going to skip forward. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me? Nathanael asked Jesus. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. And then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. And Jesus said, mm. you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. Therefore, implying that he wasn't there. So it's some sort of miracle. You see, you will see greater things than that. He then added, very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the son of man, referencing himself. So there is a clear, um, a there is a clear example of Christ having given knowledge to someone that was not within his five senses to receive that knowledge. And he's called rabbi and son of God by the person he told. So it was understood by those present that he was doing something uh, otherworldly, if can you I, will. Can I, that's a different context. This is a different context. You this can't, is the verse I brought. This is no, no, our I was, conversation. I, I was you about brought something no, no. different. We were talking about no, no. Mohammed. No, when I said that he came to the fig tree and yep. he didn't know it was fruit or not, I was yep. talking about this word. And I can't agree with no, this. No, no, but I want you to address this word. But you can't dominate the conversation. No, I'm not, bringing I, this no, evidence. No, my point is this word, so you can't take me to some other word. Yes, I, I can. Accept. I accept. You took me from 539 to 513 to, to a That's called double standards. To someone, but when Moses was talking about 539, you said, no, 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 we were talking about 513 or whatever I it was. I was talking about Moses. Oh, don't. Get 539? We, yes, this is Moses. The original Moses. When, when we came earlier, you said it was fi verse 539 uh, something. Sorry, 3359. 3359. Oh, right. It was Moses. But sorry. It was Muhammad. So, yeah. giving the, anyway, we're not talking about that. So the, let's, let's, let's address this point here. Okay. Jesus, read again and listen to the Okay, okay Asalaamu Alaikum, brother. Take it. And seeing in distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see if he could find anything on it. I got up John. And Nathaniel. Can I just say of it again? Of course you can. Listen, this, every word is very important to listen. What he, what's happening here, this is nothing to do with parable. He's seeing in the distance of a tree in leaf. He went to see if he could find anything on it. Meaning he didn't know there was something on it or not. Because he thought there was a fruit there. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For it was not the season for figs. Why Mark has to say that there is no season, season for figs? Meaning... Jesus thought there were figs there, but he found there's no figs there. That's what I was talking about. He was ignorant You're that incorrect. it was not even no, season no, for no, it. No, this is incorrect. not a parable. This is literally but happened. And we found later on, uh, he cursed the tree. No, no, and he, Peter no, said, Peter says next day, look the tree you cursed yesterday. It's no more listening to me. P Peter saw something. With the, with it's the physically so this is not there, a parable. It's physically a tree. This is no, not a no. parable. Do you, you, you acknowledge that? This is not a parable. No. This is a li no, literal. No. Can, I, can I say something? Notice we didn't interrupt you, so please give us the same level of respect, okay? Yeah. But address what I'm, my, He's my issue is. You're already you're no, I, no, but address you my issue. Scared of the my answer. issue is. Scared of the answer. No, my issue is it's literal or parable? Parable. Both. No, it's there's a physical it's tree being used to illustrate which, which something. Saw, okay, which Peter a, saw. Let me just say, in a marriage ceremony, you're asked to join hands with your, uh, you know, your husband or wife. That's a physical and li uh, metaphorical joining, a union of two bodies becoming one flesh. You're not going to hold hands forever. It's symbolic of the, the overall marriage. And the tree, even though it's a physical tree, is used as, for illustrative purposes. It really was cursed. It really didn't have any fruit. But to suggest that Christ didn't know there was no fruit on it, it doesn't say Christ, so. That, that it's that not true. We allowed you to speak. Uh, case Ma by now, no, it's his turn. It's no, his turn. But you, Matthew 21, I've just got to Matthew 21, uh, 20, it's more clear. When the disciples saw, they marveled. They're saying, 
How did the fig tree wither at once? They didn't meaning, say, how did Jesus not know? No, no, no. But they, they, meaning this is literally happening. It's, it's, it's not a bus. So he says yes. not. No, no, no. Uh, he says a parable. No, he said it did literally you say, happen. You say it's not literally a parable. If you let me speak, no, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Uh, Abbas, I, be a man of integrity, please. I said to you earlier, he absolutely cursed a real fig tree. Yes. So it literally it, happened. It literally yes. happened. That's but, my point. But but there's a reason why he done that. He literally cursed a tree, but the reason behind it was not just because he was angry that he didn't give him fruit. He done that, as I said earlier, the, the Jews, they would know that the fig tree, the vineyard, etc., things like this, is a symbolic, uh, is, a, is a symbol of Israel. So whether it's rotten fruit, for example, Jeremiah, Deuteronomy, other places, talks about the rotten fruit of Israel. So it doesn't mean Israel is literally a rotten fruit. No, it's symbolic of their spiritual state. So when Jesus says here, he curses the fig tree. He looks good and healthy from afar, just like Israel. They look very religious with all their garments and their prayers and all this. And they were Upon empty. further inspection, as Jesus once said to them, that he, uh, them towards their face, he said, you're like whitewashed tombs. You look good on the outside, inside you're dead bones. So when he cursed the fig tree... I have a question. One second. When he cursed the fig tree, he cursed it because it looked healthy, just like Israel, but he cursed it and that was a judgment upon Israel. You look healthy, but in reality you're not. I have a question. And that's, that's always so been... So it, it has the leaves that look very healthy when he went there. Yep. So he cursed because he doesn't have fruit. Fruit. And the fruit yes. of the spirit. Hang on, hang on. Is peace, 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 no, 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 no. Let, let, let me, let me, let me understand it. He went to the tree yes. because he looks there were leaves there, it looked fruitful, yep. like you say Israel. But it has no fruits. Like like children of Israel, they have no fruits. Yes. They have. But Mark say it was not a season for the for the fruit. And it's not the Meaning, for it's Israel. not the fault of the tree not having a fruit no one said because it was, it was the not the season. No. Sorry, so why he curse it? Why? If, I, if, if, I just, because I, Israel, why he maybe three or four times now. Maybe you have hearing issues. I don't know, but you're just you're just not listening. Okay, right. Three or four times. What, what, one one second. Or just, yeah, now? just now. Oh, one second. Right, I'm okay. yeah, for example, yes, it didn't have. It, it wasn't a time for figs. But he didn't go up to it thinking, oh, I'm definitely going to get figs here. He used that fig tree as an illustrative purpose. He used it as an illustration to show Israel's fruitlessness. Therefore, Israel will be judged. And that's what it was. If you read any Bible commentary, you, you will read that. You're just reading this verse and it's in, it, without giving it the context. Again, we could do that with the Quran. If I come to you and said, Surah 4, you can beat your wife. You would then say to me, hold on, let's look at the context, look, let's look at, let's read it through the lens of Muhammad, let's do all of these things. And I'd say that's perfectly fine for you to do. You're not allowing us to do that. That's called double standards. And that's called inconsistency. And inconsistency is no, a sign of a no, foul argument. And your okay. argument here, Abbas, is foul. No, it's not. I am acknowledging in the, in the, old, in the, old, Testament the old Testament, fig tree is used as children as well. I understand that. Even in New Testament as well. But this particular word is so clear that Jesus thought he will find something on the tree but he didn't find it because Jesus in my view the word says he was ignorant of there was no fruit does it say because he was ignorant he, does it say he was yes, ignorant because he says he, no, because he says he went there to find something meaning he didn't know that he will find something or not but he found nothing meaning beforehand he didn't know that so if he was God he didn't even need to go to near the tree to see if there is anything or not he should know beforehand why he went there to find something but he didn't find anything and Mark said because there was no season of it. Do you understand my problem so you here? Just, no, no you, you do have a massive problem. Your problem is basic hermeneutics and basic ex exegesis. So I would say that you struggle with hermeneutics, you struggle with exegesis, you don't understand the Old Testament, this is why you don't understand. And this. you're not doing a very good this, job as well to this, explain this, that. This is why you don't he understand. went there to find something. He doesn't have to go there, but he knew there was nothing there. As a no, God, I didn't interrupt you. Allow me to speak. You struggle with hermeneutics. You struggle with exegesis. You don't understand the Old Testament. You don't understand the symbolic use of the fig tree or the vineyard in the Old Testament. So when it comes to this, you're saying, well, therefore, that's, that personal, must be. Personal that must attack be. doesn't. No, it's not solve a personal attack. Problem. It's not a person. I'm not attacking you as a person. I'm saying you have a lack of knowledge of the Old Testament narrative concerning the symbolic use of the fig tree, the vineyard, etc., etc. So when Jesus, you, I mean, bear in mind, do you believe that Jesus knew the Old Testament? Jesus knew the Old Testament yes. as a prophet of God. Yes, of course. Do you believe his disciples would have known the stories of the fig trees and the way symbolic it was used? Not to? all. There are many times the, the disciples were ignorant. He is, many times he said to me, "Why don't you? Don't you understand?" When, many times he, cursed, he kind of cursed them in a way. Don't you understand things like when they don't understand uh, the, the the bread? He changed the three breads into five, feed five thousand people. Next time they say they have five breads, how are you going to feed them? 
So that's the, the, not, that's not many that's of that's the that's disciples that's were ignorant that's as well. That's so that's not that's all that's disciples that's were that's as knowledgeable and as knowledgeable as you think. They I'm were. not saying they're knowledgeable in the fact that they, whether they know Jesus or not, is going to going to make bread and, into, and multiply it. But in, in regards to the Old Testament, they would have been knowledgeable of it because every Jew recites the Torah. They they speak it, this that, and the other. They're in synagogue from an early age. They'd know they'd know the Old Testament stories. To say they wouldn't, again, is not historically true. So they would have understood that the fig tree and the vineyard would have been used symbolically to represent Israel. So this cursing of the fig tree, they would have understood it as a symbolic cursing of Israel, of a condemnation of their fruitlessness as this tree, as I said again, and it's going to be the last time I say it because you're not listening, um, as the fig tree represents Israel, this is a symbolic act upon, with Jesus where he's cursing the fig tree, showing that although you look healthy, you look physically good, you look like you're, you look like you're healthy, so I put off all those people there shouting, you look healthy, just as Israel looks healthy, they look all good in their garments and their prayers and everything else they do, they look very religious. As he said to them, you are dead bones, which means you're a whitewashed tomb, which means you look good on the outside, but inside you're spiritually dead. I, so this was a, this was a, a, uh, a symbolic cursing of the fig so tree, why, which Matthew, represents the fruitlessness of Israel. Do you think when Jesus went to the fig tree, he was hungry? Sorry? When Jesus I went to the fig tree, was I, he hungry I think, or not? I think he went with the purpose of showing the illustration. So, he, he was hungry or not? That's my question. I'm was not, he hungry? I, I don't think he went for it for fruit. I think he went That's for it. That's not my answer to my question. Was he hungry I or not? I'm asking you a question. I just said, I don't think... See, this is your problem. You want me to answer it in a few specific words. But because I'm you know that. the answer is no, he no, was hungry. No, I, I'm, just, I'm giving you the answer. I don't think he went to the fig tree looking for fruit. Who are I, you do you I, think? I, I think? The Bible says he was hungry. I went to show me where it says he was hungry. I think he went to the fruit tree. Okay, okay. Let me read. Chapter Matthew. I'll, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll call the doctor. I don't know your name. You know? Ben. ben. Chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 21. Yes, he was hungry to go to the fruit. Okay, you say show me no, now, no, you say he's no, hungry. No, okay, he now you accept no. it. He went to the fruit, he was hungry, yes, he went to the fruit tree. He, his intention wasn't to pick fruit and eat it, his intention was to show the illustrative uh, that is, parable. That is, that is of, your exegesis. Sorry, I said Jesus. That's every single comment. That's your exegesis. I'll, I'll, I'll give you 20. Verses are clear, you are putting your exegesis in it. No, what you're doing there, you're trying to. Commentators can make anything with it. They want to cover this ignorance of Jesus. Okay. So they will say whatever. But the verse is very clear. In the morning, as chapter Matthew 21, verse 18 says, in the morning, as he was returning to the city, he was hungry. Yes, he was hungry. And he, he was hungry. And seeing food. a fig tree by the wayside, he went to it. For what? To get some fruit. And found nothing on it, but leaves only. Meaning, he thought there was fruit, but actually he found there's no fruit. I mean, that's exactly what I was talking about. He was ignorant of that. Meaning, as a prophet, he could be ignorant, and I can understand that. As a prophet, he can be ignorant. The prophet doesn't know everything. But if you believe he's God, he shouldn't be ignorant of that. When he was hungry, he shouldn't go anywhere near that tree because he knows he's not going to find any fruit. So the context as, as is I saying. Said, as I said, as I said, this is because you don't understand the Old Testament symbolic uh, usage of the fig tree or the vineyard. When you understand that, because all you've done, due respect, you found this on Google and you're coming to the Christians like, look, this is what it says. We are all aware of this I verse. Mean, this is your Bible. It's we, not a Google. We are all, yeah, but I guarantee you found that. Did you find that just for your reading of the, the New Testament? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, great. Absolutely. Okay, great. Okay. You've said, you've read that. But the thing is, you've read that about understanding the symbolic use of the fig tree or the vineyard within the Old Testament. Within the Old Testament, the fig tree was always used as a symbol of Israel. Always. You can find it in Deuteronomy, in Jeremiah, you find it in multiple places throughout the Bible. So what I'm saying to you is this, that Jesus was using this symbolic, which all the Jews would have known, this is a symbolic of Israel. He was using this to show, look, as this, I'm, this is going to be the last time I say this because it's falling on deaf ears, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. As you look at this fig tree, it looks healthy. It looks like it's bearing fruit, <laughs> as Israel did. They, they looked good in their garments. They, they would memorize parts of the Torah. They'd have those bits of scriptures uh, attaching to their tassels. They looked very holy. This tree looked very healthy. But in reality, it wasn't healthy. So he was so teaching them. He, 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 he was a teaching So moment, in teaching yes. them, he, We have a difference on interpretation. So in teaching them, you're, you're he has to be... He was hungry. against the historic view of this. No, in teaching that example of children of Israel, like a fig tree, he was hungry and he, he saw the tree with the leaves. He went there. I mean, come on. This is this is literally a showing ignorance. But then you making it that he's teaching. I understand some other places he taught that. But in this one, in my view, I don't think you clarified it very well. You're playing with the Old Testament, but this is a clear I'm thing. I'm not playing with the Old Testament. I'm giving you what the Old Testament says. You're ignoring the Old Testament because you don't know the Old Testament. Yeah, I'm not saying I know the Old Testament. So, the, 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 when, why, okay, so many times to explain some parts of the New Testament, when they quote things and things like that, you have to look at what the Old Testament says. You are unfortunately not doing that. Well, we just uh, discovered Jesus was also hungry when he went to the fig tree. Yeah, he was a was man also, and a God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so he was hungry, he was not only teaching a parable, but he's but he knew you see, the in the beginning the, in the beginning what Ben says it's a parable. It then no. he then he came no. okay it's a literal, 
Now he's a no. Now you now you now you are virtually. Be, be, no, what do you say, no, parable? No, no. Now I you, asked no. you. To, it's on the video a there. Now it's in the video there. You say it's a parable and not literal. Now you are lying. Or you or, it's or once video. again, you're not, you're it's all recorded. You can I mean, I ask you a question: Is it literal or parable? No, Your I answer said, was it was parable. It was Until par she says literal, you say yes, you're, literal you're and parable. You're misunderstanding what a parable oh. is. You can use a real you object. Can use a real you can thing use a real to illustrate yes, a point. Yes, I said to you earlier, and again, you are either not listening or you're lying. I said earlier, and it will be on the video, that yes, it was a real fig tree, and he literally cursed a fig tree. They used that fig tree to tell a parable. You can use a real object. You can use a very real object to tell a parable. Yeah. So literally, that happened. We're only going around in circle. So they say if you had four real pigs and you take away two real pigs, like it's illustrative. We're only going around in circle. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Abbas, 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 we are only going around in circle. They have to eat something to find a Ignorance doesn't, hunger isn't a show of ignorance. You are only going around in circles here because we've derailed your arguments. You have to keep coming back to the same point. Well, you said it wasn't, you said it wasn't, it wasn't really real and it didn't happen. Well, actually, I said it did happen. I don't think you You're going around in circles. I don't think you were very much aware of the these verses and the context I'm not aware because of when okay. I ask you sure. was he hungry watching, was he hungry or not you have no answer you said no, show me I where it says you, I when I show you, you the hungry I've given you the answer five you. times you're not you listening and they're going and, and if this is posted they're going to see that you've ignored I, every single I'm answer given to you because it's derailed your argument because you have to have it if Jesus was ignorant you can't take the Old Testament context and apply that to what Jesus was doing in this symbolic gesture you can't take that you don't stop, understand stop it. saying symbolic because you, you don't symbolic. Word. you don't it's understand literal. because you don't no, it's literally no, you happened can't accept. yes it did it's not just saying, it, when you say symbolic it could be just meaning like okay, like okay. just an no, no, example no, no. Okay. and not literal so say okay one second this this is symbolic this is symbolic if I shake Kay's hand yeah we're going to oh, shake hands this is symbolic of our friendship this is a real handshake and our friendship you can't see no no no, no. symbolic can also advice. mean not literal you understand <laughs> Symbolic can also mean not literal. Something doesn't happen it literal. Can. Can yeah. also but literal. when you yeah. say symbolic, it's ambiguous. It could be literal. But here we talk about literal things. He taught something from literal, literally what he did. Yep. But I'm saying it. He didn't taught. He was ignorant of him because verses are clear. But you in just morning, I've given you a verse where he shows that's a different extra context. sensory no, that, knowledge. I, I understand that word. That's miracle. talking about children of Israel. That's no, about. it's not talking about children of Israel. John is showing that Christ has knowledge not gained by sight, sound, taste, okay. touch or hearing. He knows that he was beneath the fig tree. I, Nathaniel says, and he says, because you have told me this, I tell you, you are the son of God. And Christ says, you told me this because I told you that, but you will see greater things than that. Implying that the, that is great, but you will see okay. greater. So Christ has full knowledge apart from the hour. So uh, Christ knew everything. He, no, but he knew there were no figs on the tree. If I show you a false prophecy no, of if you Christ stick with your in, argument, in Mark 13. If you stick with your argument. He That's knew, even worse. That's worse than that. He knew that there were no figs on the tree when he approached it. And after he left it, obviously, he already knew he was using the real live cursed tree to illustrate a wider point about Israel and their spiritual. Do you roots. heard that when we were talking about that he was hungry when he went to the fig tree? He, he was, was a hungry. man. So yes. So why he went to the fig tree? Because he was hungry. No. Oh, that's what he's saying. That's what the Matthew. I think we're going around in the circles here. Okay. I made my point. I think you guys, well, I in think my view, you are in right. denial. Oh, no, okay. no, the, you're in, you're, the only in reason you're view, if you're a Christian, the, you'd be a heretic. The, the, the problem is, is that we've derailed your arguments. You keep coming back full circle what you're saying originally. You're only by, coming by, by you saying are, that you, you are, derailed my argument doesn't only, make it you derailed my argument. You are only coming to this conclusion because you are ignorant. You are only coming to this conclusion. Because you are ignorant of the Old Testament usages you of the You didn't bring nothing from the Old Testament, you know? He that. did. You just keep looking. No, you didn't. Did, did. did. did you read the verse, the chapter and verse? Let's read the chapter and verse. Stop interrupting, I can say. Do you want to if, tell if, me the if verse? You look into Jeremiah. If you look in Jeremiah, you look in Deuteronomy, there are other places where the fig tree is symbolically used to represent the nation of Israel, God's people. I understand that. So, I know that. And in the ah, Old Testament, no, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm acknowledging it. And within, and within the Old Testament, Israel is symbolically. Uh, uh, God uses the fig tree, he uses the vineyard, and things like this, rotten fruit, good fruit, to, to show if Israel is in a good state or a bad state. So when Jesus is speaking Jeremiah to his, 11, when, when Jesus is speaking to his what is Jewish, it? one second, when Jesus is speaking to his Jewish audience there, who understand the symbolic use of the fig tree, when he curses the fig tree, what he's doing there is showing that yes, this fig tree looks very much like Israel. It looks healthy, but his cursing is really, it bears no fruit, much like Israel. Jesus also said to the uh, Jews, you are like a whitewashed tomb. A whitewashed tomb that's clean on the outside, inside it's like dead bones, it's rotten. So this fig tree was a symbolic uh, um, condemning of Israel. They look 
They look like they're bearing fruit, but in reality they're not. That's always been the Christian understanding, and the reason why you don't understand that, all due respect, Abbas, is because you are ignorant of the Old Testament usage okay. for the fig Let's tree. Go Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's go a little bit deeper. quickly quote this? Jeremiah 8, 13, it says, I will surely consume them. There will be no more harvests of figs and grapes. Their fruit trees will all die. Whatever I gave them will soon be gone. I, the Lord, have spoken. So there he's cursing them through. Um, but the, the one thing I wanted to say was the house of Israel was symbolized by the olive tree. For speaking of Israel, the prophet Jeremiah recorded, the Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit. So that's a direct reference of Israel being. Okay, I'm, I'm, so I'm, so Jesus' audience would have understood that. They knew that this was a symbolic a gesture of Israel, of that, an example oh. of Israel. The fig tree was always used as, as, as a re to represent the children of Israel, to represent God's people. The vineyard, the fig tree, all represents Israel. Okay. So rotten fruit represents Israel being bad. Good fruit represents, okay, ben, the, my problem represents here is, the healthiness I of Israel. Understand, so when I, Jesus curses the fig tree, he's saying, you look good, but in reality you're not. Okay, my problem here is children of Israel, children of Israel look very good, like a fig tree with the leaves, yeah. but they have no fruits. Yeah. yeah? So it's, it's their fault and God cursed them because they, had, they bear no fruit. Yeah. yeah, so it's their fault. They should have fruit, yes. but they didn't have fruit. Yes. But this example doesn't fit on the fig tree on this example. Why? Because Mark says it's not a fault of a fig, fig tree not to have fruits because it was not the season for it. I understand the example. I have, it's my, it's my point here. It's my, 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 ben, you're talking over me now. I was, I was listening to you. My problem here is if the case was it was the season for the fig tree, yeah. and yet this fig tree doesn't give fruit, then it was the fault of fig tree. But it was not a fault of fig tree because it was not season. Okay. Okay. So, so this example covenant. doesn't fit in so, it. Unless, my, my, just my last point. Unless it was literally that happened, it as, it as, happen. as it says, Jesus was hungry, he wanted a fruit, and he, he saw the tree, he went there, he found nothing, then he cursed Abbas, it. So, meaning he was ignorant, literally. Abbas, do you, Abbas, do you believe? Do you, do you believe that Jesus, being a good Jew, in in that bearing in mind, most of what the Jews would, would uh, most of their work and the way they'd earn the living would be livestock and agriculture. So they'd be very familiar with when fig trees, for example, were in season. Do you think Jesus was really ignorant of a common day fruit that he'd they'd eat on a daily basis? Do you really think he'd be ignorant of the, whether that's My bearing fruit or not? My straight answer is as a Muslim. Okay. He, I, I don't deny this verse is true or not. I'm saying probably it's real. As a Muslim, I believe the prophets doesn't know all worldly matters. They're all worldly things. Even the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, once he shows his, his ignorance about the, the farming of the date, 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 date palm tree, uh, date, date palm trees. So as a prophet of God, it's possible that he didn't know the season. He wasn't a farmer. He was a rabbi. So he didn't know. Yes, but that's the problem. As a prophet, if he, he didn't know that, I have no problem that prophet is not supposed to know it. But you say he's God, yes. so as a God, he should not be ignorant. He did not. So he I don't think ignorant. so, Jesus as a prophet he would know not the fig tree. Again, as, as Kay is saying, we don't believe he was ignorant. We, we believe that he used a fig tree as a, um, as, as a symbolic con uh, condemning of Israel's fruitlessness. Because within the Old Testament context, again, if you understood the Old Testament narrative of the fig tree and the usage of that, you would understand, the fruit, you'd understand that fruitlessness when, whenever Israel is fruitless, it always ends in judgment. So this fig tree, it bore, it didn't bear fruit, so it's judged and it was condemned. That's a symbolic act upon Israel. You can either accept that or you don't. We've said, we've told you no, the same answer. That. Israul, so you say that. Because we, we've to me, it's this. so clear that he's hungry. He went there for no. a food. Do you know what? It doesn't, no fit, it doesn't fit your narrative. Can I just ask about the hadith? It doesn't fit the narrative you're trying to make. So no, he is hungry. No. The Bible says he's hungry. I just he's hungry. He, no, he went there. Israel. He didn't find anything. And he cursed it. Meaning he didn't... Uh, if he says that he just went there and he showed them an example, I mean, the whole context That's is about clearly saying that, 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 would only, that would only work. Your argument would only work if you ignore context. If you ignore the context and the, the Old Testament ignore, in its entirety ignore, and the audience, it, it would only work speaking. if you were to ignore context and the usage of the fig tree within the Old Testament, which Jesus' Jewish audience would have been very familiar with. And if you so subscribe Jeremiah to Ben's yeah? channel, you can probably 31, learn more yeah? about that sort of thing. I understand other places he gave a fig tree example as the Jews, but. I, I, yeah, this one, one I take that. No, no, because this one is literally telling ah. us that he's hungry. He went Sorry, there. He find no fruit, uh, food because there was also the season of it. How do you know? Sorry, how do you know? What commentary are you no, using? No, that's what the word no, says. What commentary? Are you using? I'm not using no commentary. Okay, but no, okay. you just declared. I'm just using sorry, the, sorry, the no, scripture. no, no, I'm going to get this out. I'm you using the scripture. Excellent. You just declared 
I know of other multiple symbolic references, but this one is literal. How do you know? Commentary of by who? Christians, is it? How do, Christians, you know? yeah? How do you know? Those How Christians, do you no, know? No, you, you are bringing the commentaries I'm of Christians. Asking, I'm asking, I'm saying There's no Muslim commentary opinion. on the Bible, is it? So they are Christians. And these Christians are defending those say that their Jeremiah ignorance, is of figurative Jesus, and ignorance of Jesus. Mark so is they make the exegesis to defend this ignorance. Let, 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 me just point, let me just point out no, the double. I heard you. About, you don't have an you. Okay, you haven't. Okay, ask me that question. <laughs> Who supports your idea that the, uh, the fig tree in Mark is figurative? The context. Uh, literal. Wait, no, not context. Who? Oh, no, what? now Who? you want context. Who? No, no, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm context telling you to read the context. I keep saying that okay, we read the context. Let, let me just point something out. Let me point out the double standards. It's, it's not everything. Okay. Context let me, should okay. be over everything. Let me point out, let me point out the double standards. And this isn't diverting. This is pointing out the double standards of your argument. If I bring to you Surah 4, where it says that the, uh, the husband can beat your wife. Okay. Yeah? Uh, if I bring that up to you, you are tap. then going to say to me, or tap, whichever you like. You Let's are, bring it. About, like, no, one second. Let's talk no, about it. One second. You are then going to say to me, okay, let me read the, let me read this and understand this through the lens of the prophet yeah you're going to say let me bring tafsir commentaries let me going to see let me see how muhammad um interpreted this and how muhammad acted and things like this you're going to use all of that which i i think that's fine it's acceptable to do so but you won't allow us to use old testament context to apply this no no uh, uh, you already said that before as well let's talk about that verse and i will explain to you it's not the same thing it's absolutely the same thing. do you know why it's the same thing because if i was to ignore the context if i was to ignore all the tafsir and the life of muhammad if i was to ignore all that that says what it says you're ignoring all the old testament context you're ignoring all the old testament narrative therefore that's what it says yeah. so it's, it's called double standards no, 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 no. ben this verse has nothing to do with old testament no no i'm showing you the double standards no no this is just so literally he wanted the food and he didn't know there was a food it's just so so clear but you are just trying to make it do you know what you've done? Same, same you know like Old done. Testament. You, you've done a full circle. We answer you because you because you won't accept the answer. You're going, well, no, this is what it says. Therefore, that must be what and it means. And I reject your This answer. is what it says. Therefore, uh, it must be what it means. No, no. You're rejecting the answer because you don't understand the Old Testament narrative. And again, if I bring up parts of the Quran and say to you, that's what it says. Ignore the context. That's what it says. You're then going to say, let me bring up tafsir. Let me bring up commentaries. Let me bring up the life of Muhammad. And I'll say, that's acceptable. That's how you interpret it. Give it to me. But when we do it, you're saying, no, that can't be what it means because it doesn't fit uh, my narrative. Uh, uh, I I think, I think if you read this to any sincere person and they, they see the context, his context is so clear. Any sincere I just, person? No. Are you I, I can give it. I, I can give No, I or, can give this. Or a neutral person. The only insincere person. I may be biased. I may be biased. You may be biased. The, only, the, only person, person, be biased. the neutral person can clearly see the, only, the man is hungry. The only he went to the tree hoping there's a fruit there and he didn't find fruit and he cursed he's just clearly all showing respect, the ignorance of the only, jesus the only insincere person here is yourself because <laughs> you are ignoring context you're ignoring the old testament usage of the fig tree in the vineyard but you're ignoring that the audience jesus spoke to were jews the and you were, you were ignoring that the people jesus was speaking to were jews who would understand please, the point please. he's trying to make you're ignoring you're ignoring all of that so you you are a you are an enemy of context <laughs> you don't understand Ooh. hermeneutics you don't understand your personal exegesis. attacks doesn't work brother <laughs> it's not, okay. Yeah. But it's not but a personal attack. Like you are ignorant of this. You are ignorant of that. That's not a personal attack. Okay, let's talk about it. Do you have anything about Islam? Do you have anything about Islam? You have anything about Islam? You have anything about Islam? You have I think we're going, we going round the circle and I think we're not going okay. to... Can I just, let's, let me let's do agree the to disagree, but disagree to part. Let's said, talk, yeah. All right, you earlier said that when the Quran says from those who fear rebellion, you must use other parts of the Quran to yeah. check what they mean by right. yeah. fear. Yeah. So what the other parts of the Bible mean by fig tree is Israel. Whether there's a physical tree or whether it's a story that's relayed to disciples or in Jeremiah, it still represents, whether it's physically planted in the ground or I just say there is a tree. It's so the same tree. Let's go. 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 Let's